Hi everyone, Anthony Morganti here. Recently, Skylum Software updated Luminar Neo to version 1.7.0. In today's video, I'm going to talk about everything that's new and exciting in this, the latest version of Luminar Neo. There are actually two things that are new and exciting in this, the latest version of Luminar Neo. One of those things pertains to those of you that purchased Luminar Neo with the extension pack. If you did, you'll now be able to use HDR Merge, Focus Stacking, and the Upscale AI extensions as plugins in Lightroom. I'm going to demonstrate how to do that by using the HDR Merge extension as a Lightroom plugin. As you can see, I have Lightroom open and I have a bracketed set of three images in the film strip. Now, I didn't do any editing at all to these three images. But feel free, if you want to do editing to yours before you send them to the HDR Merch extension, go ahead. Um, but just make sure that the editing is pretty much the same for all three images. Now, I didn't do any editing, and then to get them into that HDR Merge extension, I need to select all of them in the film strip. Just click on the first one, hold the Shift key down, and click on the last one so all three images are selected. To get them into the HDR Merge extension, from Lightroom, go up to File, then down to Export with Preset. And you go down here to the section on Luminar Neo, and you could see that I could focus stack images this way. I also could just select a single image and upscale that photo in Luminar Neo if I want to do that. But as we mentioned, for this set of images, I'm going to use the HDR Merge extension. So that's listed there as well. So I'm not going to demo how to do focus stacking here or how to upscale an image, you just access it from this menu. If you're doing focus stacking, just make sure you select all of the images like I did for the HDR merge. If you're doing upscale, just make sure that the image you want to upscale is selected, and then you're good to go. So we're going to click on HDR merge in Luminar Neo. When you do that, it will open up the three images directly into Luminar Neo, into the HDR merge extension. Now, don't just click merge right away. Before you do that, go to this little gear and click this little gear and what you want to do is click auto alignment. I would suggest you always click this and turn that on, even if you use a tripod, because even slight movement of the tripod uh, might happen between shots. So you want to make sure that everything is perfectly aligned. For this set of images, I have to click it because I handheld these three shots. Uh, you might want to use or click chromatic aberration reduction. Um, I'm not going to, I did that in, or that was done in Lightroom automatically when lens corrections were applied and ghost reduction. You want to do that if you have, uh, uh, let's say a landscape scene and it was a little bit breezy and the grasses or the trees were swaying in the wind a little bit that will help reduce the ghosting for this case, uh, for this set of images, um, in this church, it's a basilica. Actually, I, I think there were some people in the front that might've been moving a little bit, but I'm not going to click that either. Uh, if you do click that, you just click the reference image. So you pick one of the three images you want as the base image, and then it will remove the ghosting from the other two, um, if that made any sense. Now, in this case, I'm not going to click it. The only difference here is if I clicked both chromatic aberration reduction and ghost reduction, it just takes longer to merge. That's all. So we're just going to do auto alignment, and we're going to click merge. And so it's you can see it's processing. And I have actually never done this before uh, as a Lightroom plugin, so I'm not sure how long this will take, but we'll let it do its thing. And maybe I'll pause the video and, oh no, I don't have to. It returns us to Luminar Neo. And you can see this is our HDR merged image. And we could click apply and just return back to Lightroom, or I could click cancel, or I could go to the edit panel and I could do editing here. Now it kind of, as you can see, does some editing already. Um, it actually looks pretty good. So for this instance, I'm just going to click apply and we'll click apply. And it will return us to Lightroom. And I had those three images in a collection and it should put that image in that collection and it did, it's right there. So I could edit from this point forward if I wanted to, uh, but I don't think we'll have to. It looks pretty decent. Now, let's talk about this other uh, new feature in Luminar Neo. Let me open up Luminar Neo and let me get to it. Um, it has to do with the presets. You now will be able to see a preview of a preset by just hovering over the preset. So let's go to the presets tab 
and let's just pick some presets. Let's pick uh, easy landscapes, let's say. Now you'll see they, that these little circles, they have to kind of lock in. And then all you need to do is hover over it. You see, I hover over long exposure. That's what that looks like. Hover over sunset. That's what that looks like. Clean light, noir landscape, kind of like that one. For stream and snowfall. And you want to pick one. Let's say you just pick noir landscape, noir scape. That's what that's called, actually. And that's it. So those are the really the two new features that are in this version of Luminar Neo. On the description below this video, I'll have a link to their website. It's been one year since Luminar Neo has been released, and they're having a one-year anniversary sale. I also have a promo code that will save you, I think, $10, but don't quote me on that. But anyway, I'll have that listed in the description below this video as well. That's it. That's everything that's new and exciting in this, the latest version of Luminar Neo. Thank you, everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon.